Hi. The lighting seems really dodgy today. Not sure if that's just me. I am going to try and do a tag video. Because, why not? It, I've written them down, I've written the questions down. Because all the questions were on my phone, which I'm filming on, which is really annoying. Blah, blah. The tag is called, Get Your Freak On. 15 weird facts. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with 15 weird facts. The questions. Number one, what is a nickname only your family calls you? I don't really have one. So all I thought of was the only nickname I remember being called. And that was in school and it was Stressy Jesse. Yes, hilarious. Uh, unfortunately, it's still true to this day. Question two, what's a weird habit of yours? How do I pick just one weird habit? I have all the weird habits. I will pick Instagram. <laughs> I have this awful compulsion when I get a comment on Instagram to reply to every comment. But worse than that, if someone likes my photo, I feel like I must go and like one of their photos back. Like, not out of their thing, but like an OCD thing, you know, in my head. I'm like, I must go and like a photo back. It's really time consuming and stupid. And it puts me off posting photos on Instagram and it pisses me off because it's made me kind of stop enjoying it because I can't get over my own issue. <laughs> I am pretty sure that that is not the way most people use Instagram. Question three, do you have any weird phobias? This is ridiculous <laughs> for a channel like this because I also have all the phobias. Well, not all of them, but I have a lot of phobias, obviously. So I'm just going to pick one. It's a really boring one, but it's cotton wool scratching on anything. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It makes me feel sick to think about cotton wool scratching on your teeth or something. Like nails down a chalkboard. That is what cotton wool does to me. And for someone who is obsessed with nail polish, I, I come into contact with cotton wool very often. Question four. What is a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? This is ridiculous because there's just so many again. And I have said before, I don't really believe in guilty pleasures because I think that you should just be free to enjoy whatever you want and not be embarrassed or ashamed about it but <laughs> I can't say that I would freely announce the fact that I do love these songs as in I love to sing them so I guess some part of me does feel shame about this and those songs are Kelly Clarkson Stronger and Since You've Been Gone I can't help it they're sing-along songs. I just do. Taylor Swift. Swifty. Swifty, stop making such singable songs. I can't help it. I sing Red and I sing, um, what's that really good one? Um, mean. I love singing Mean. Because it's good and it has a story behind it. And I don't care. I don't care if you're judging me for singing Taylor Swift. Swifty. And also Katy Perry's Raw and Part of Me. Also because they are like empowering kind of messages, I think. That's basically the theme here. <laughs> it's not really my usual taste in music, any of those things. But those are, it said, you know, what's the song you secretly love to blast out? And also Lily Allen's Hard Out Here because I like to say bitch a lot. Number five, what is one of your biggest pet peeves? I have so many of those too. Basically, I just have all of these, like, a lot. I'm just going to pick one. Well, no, I'm lying. I'm going to pick three, I think. Rudeness, lack of respect, and rude customers. I used to work in customer service, and rude customers are just, oh, the bane of your existence when you work in any sort of customer service. If you're, like... A telly salesperson or you work in a shop or whatever retail there is no need to be a rude customer even if you have a complaint you do not need to do it with rudeness 
respect the staff. Question six, what is one of your nervous habits? I'm laughing because it's such a ridiculous question for this channel again, because I'm always nervous. I'm gonna pick one. I have put down teeth grinding and clenching. I do have um, bruxism. Uh, I grind my teeth at night. I have to wear a grind guard, which I always think would be a great name for a death metal band. Um, and yeah, I clench my teeth a lot. Question seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep on the right. I don't see anything weird or freaky about this fact. It's just a question. I quite like this one. <laughs> question eight, what was your first stuffed animal and what was its name? I remember it very well because I was told the story about a million times. Uh, my first stuffed animal was a teddy bear and it was called Tesco Ted. For those of you who are not British, Tesco is a UK supermarket and my dad used to work at the headquarters and it was a friend that he worked with brought me a stuffed teddy bear when I was born and it was thoughtfully named Tesco Ted and apparently I loved this thing and wouldn't sleep without it so there you go. I also had a teddy bear called Mothercare, guess where that came from? Question nine. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? <laughs> the shame. I can feel the, the shame coming. I used to, before it became like a really frequent thing, I used to always get a caramel macchiato. They were my favourite. But now I will always get a short dark in a tall cup so there is room for cream because you don't get room for cream otherwise you just get the entire cup of coffee so and i hate people who tip coffee in the bin because you're like someone has to change that bin and you're putting liquid in it you're putting hot liquid in a bin would you do that at home no so <laughs> that's what i order like frequently if i have a treat on my starbucks card i will get a pumpkin spice latte with all the whipped cream question 10 is not really applicable but i'm gonna say it anyway it is what is the one beauty rule that you preach but do but never actually practice i don't preach anything um the one thing i guess i would uh encourage someone to do would be to have a really good facial skincare routine because that is the base of your face <laughs> um, and it's certainly something that i do not keep on top of um, enough I kind of do the basics and I try really hard to look after my skin because I have really shit skin and I don't try hard enough because I'm tired and depressed and shit that was so happy I am trying harder question 11 which way do you face in the shower this is such a dumb question like who just faces one way I face both ways I turn around I do a full dance I do a full three six um, every single way you can face Apart from upside down. That would kind of be weird. But whatever floats your boat. Question 12. Do you have any weird body skills? If you are at all icky about body parts being hypermobile, don't watch for the next 10 seconds or so. I can touch my thumb to my arm on both sides apparently this means i have double jointed thumbs but i don't think anything else is double jointed i have a friend who is like super 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 has that hyper mobility thing i'm so sorry i don't know the name of it um, and it's actually really quite dangerous because things can just pop out and it's a bit scary question 13 i'm gonna have to read it from my paper because it's a bit long What's your favourite comfort food slash food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyway? I don't like to label food bad and good for obvious reasons. It's not a healthy way to think about food, blah, 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 blah. But I would say my main comfort food is definitely crisps, which if you're not British again, you will call chips, potato chips. Yeah, issues. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't grown into an enormous crisp yet. Question 14. What's a phrase or exclamation you always say? What was I saying? 
Can't remember. What's that word? Oh, for fuck's sake. Twat waffle. Question 15. This is so random. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? They've written actually in capital letters like you're going to lie about what you're sleeping in. Like, I don't get it. I don't have a scuba diving outfit. That's what I sleep in. Um, I, I don't know how to describe what I wear. It's just like a regular nightshirt thing, but it's got straps. So it's like a vest, but it's like a short dress. Does that make any sense? Like a really long vest or a really short dress with straps. <laughs> Is that just a nighty? But I need to wear fluffy bed socks all year round. <laughs> I cannot sleep without bed socks. My feet get weirdly cold for no reason. Like, I don't know. So that's the end of my tag video. I hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too boring and long. Uh, I would love it if any of you would like to do the same tag video. I know it is not everyone's bag, but I thought it was a fun idea. I quite like doing it, to be honest. It was quite fun. So yeah, if any of you decide to do it, leave me a comment and let me know and I will come and watch yours and learn about you too. And I hope you have learned something that you didn't know about me before, I suppose. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.